there are apparently some streets here in Missoula that are all named after Harry Potter things, which sounds too good to be true, but Joe and I looked them up and we're gonna go scope it out and we will check back and let you know for sure. Oh, yeah. Joe just oh. fell, caught on camera. <laughs> I feel really creepy right now because we are just like creeping around this just like adorable little neighborhood. I can't see it, I gotta get closer. Potter Park. Okay, I think we've made it. Maybe there's like a, um, some bricks we have to tap, or maybe there's like a port key. <laughs> you think that bike is a port key? Yeah, go up and try and steal it. Let's yeah. See what happens. <laughs> Does anyone just have like a broomstick sitting on their porch? Look what we found. We're on Hermione Lane on the Potter Park Loop. This is so. People live here, Joe. It doesn't work for like Tom Riddle or Voldemort because then you can't give anyone your address. Yeah. I live on he who has not be named lane. Yeah. I just feel like if you're a wizard trying to live undercover in the United States, this is just a terrible way to not draw attention to yourself or personally. Or is it the best possible way because no one would suspect? Maybe, live, hide in plain sight. Exactly. Yeah, okay, okay, I'm on to you wizards. If I were a wizard, this is where I would live. Muggle Lane. No one would ever suspect. Yeah, because you're in Muggle Lane. Why yeah, would you be a wizard? Exactly. Kind of like how cities used to have like Chinatowns and things like that. Like, no, this is this is where the Muggles live. <laughs> I live in like, Muggle Town. It's like a little offensive. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, can you tell me what's wrong with this sign? Uh, do you mean Diagonal Lane? Diagon Lane. Di Diagon Lane. <laughs> Diagonally. That's how you get to the wrong streets. I mean, if they're gonna go so far as to make a Harry Potter neighborhood, can't they just call one an alley? Or is there some sort of like rule of the road that this has to be a lane? It's gotta be, yeah, it's, I think it's probably copyrighted. You can't, like, they can't, couldn't have one here because they already have one in London. Oh, yeah. And the flu network would just totally get screwed up. <laughs> Maybe, the, I wonder what that sign on that door is. They probably don't appreciate people trying to break into their house because they think it's gonna be like a wizard mall. Well, there's only one way to find out. So I have not vlogged about this yet because I was definitely not in the right headspace for it. <laughs> but earlier today, Joe and I got in I, I guess I'll call it like a pretty major car accident. Yeah, well, I yeah. mean, it was as far as car accidents go. How many times did we like do this? We did that like at least twice. Uh, so, so far we have done all the crappy stuff you have to do when you get in a car accident, which is boring and paperworky. But then we went to have dinner at this adorable little place called the Talking Bird. Uh huh. And everyone's so nice. So, this is the nicest place in the world. The woman who worked at the place where our car was brought to gave us a room for a super ridiculously cheap rate because she owns this place and so now, and she's been driving us places. Like she drove us here. Yeah, actually drove us into town to get food. Dropped us off there where we had food. The bartender bought our first drinks because she felt bad that we crashed outside their town. Um, and so we had a bunch more drinks obviously because had to spend money there. And now we like bought a crappy movie and we're just gonna hang out here. We don't know how we're getting home yet. We'll figure that out tomorrow. Yeah, we're supposed For to be For today, home. I'm just really glad that nobody got hurt. Yeah. Nobody else got hurt and there was no one else involved in the accident. We just bumped into a guardrail. Bu and bumped. <laughs> bu bumped uh, with force. Yeah. <laughs> we bumped with conviction. We, we bumped enthusiastically into a guardrail. Yeah, I would say that that was something that we definitely did. Yeah. Like a lot. Yeah, yeah. We'll figure out how we're getting home tomorrow. Maybe bus. Uh, I hear the flu network has spotty reception here. I think it's too cold for flu networks. Yeah, probably. Yeah. 